Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at the Wayek Federal Mathematics Past Questions and Answers or the Elective Mass Past Questions and Answers. Where we'll be looking at the SSC 1995 question number 2A. Alright, so SSC 1995 question number 2A, we are to evaluate the expression that we have over here. So this is a set. We are to evaluate the set that we have over here. So let's look at the solution to this problem. So we have root 3 minus root 2 on root 3 plus root 2. Now, to solve this expression, what we need to do is to get rid of the root signs. So that is what we have to do. Now, in, in doing that, we need to multiply both the numerator and then the denominator with something. So we want to get rid of the root sign at the denominator over here. It can be at the numerator, we don't mind. By the denominator, it becomes difficult for us to divide. So we need to multiply both the top and then the down by something. Now that something is what we call the conjugate. So the conjugate is that you take the denominator that we have over here and you just change the sign. So if it is positive, you change it to negative. If it's negative, you change it to positive. I use it to multiply both the top and down. In our case over here, we have root three minus root two on root 3 plus root 2 so the denominator is root 3 plus root 2 so it's conjugate so the conjugate for root 3 plus root 2 will be equal to root 3 minus root 2 so this is the conjugate and this is what we use to multiply both the top and down so this becomes root 3 minus root 2 and root 3 minus root 2. So this is basically like this divided by this is 1. So it's as if we've done nothing to the equation. Now note that I'm not using the numerator to multiply both the top and then the bottom. That's not what I'm using. It just happens that in this case, they are the same. But that is not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is that I'm taking the denominator and I found the conjugate of it. The conjugate means I change the sign in between the two set that I have. So I change the sign, it becomes minus, and that is the conjugate I'm using to multiply both the top and then the down. So this now is equal to, I take root three and I use it to multiply this. So I have root three outside bracket, into bracket, root three minus root two. Then I take the second component, which is minus root two, and I use it to multiply this term over here. As how you expand um, bracket or you're multiplying two uh, objects so we have root 3 here minus root 2 all over I have here root 3 this guy multiplied by everything over here into bracket root 3 minus root 2 plus root 2 over here multiplied by root 3 minus root 2 so this is now equal to, let me do that here, this is equal to root 3 multiplied by root 3 will give us 3. So if you know your set very well, root 3 multiplied by root 3 is root 3 squared. And then the square will cancel the root sign, it becomes 3. So root 3 multiplied by root 3 will give me 3. Root 3 multiplied by root 2 will give me negative root 6. Then negative root 2 multiplied by root 3 will give me negative root 6 the negative root 2 multiplied by negative root 2 give me positive 2 all on root 3 multiplied by root 3 will give me root 9 which is equal to 3 so I have here 3 then root 3 multiplied by negative root 2 will give me negative root 6 positive root 2 multiplied by positive root 3 will give me positive root 6 and then root 2 multiplied by negative root 2 will give me negative 2 as my answer over here. So from here, I now have this and this. 3 plus 2 will give me 5. Minus root 6 minus root 6 will give me minus 2 root 6 divided by this will cancel this because this is negative, this is positive. I now have 3 minus 2 left and this is equal to 5 minus 2 root 6 over 1 and this is equal to 
5 minus 2 with 6 as our answer. So this is the solution or the answer for this particular problem when we solve the problem. Now you can cross check this answer by inputting the whole expression over here into your calculator and getting your answer ahead before you even start solving. So what I normally do uh, during that time when I was writing my YA, what I did was that whenever I have such expressions that I can use calculator to solve, I use the calculator to get the answer and I write it at the topmost corner of my book. So I'll do that. So this, so once I get the answer, all I'm working towards is getting this. So after solving my expression, once I have this, I don't need to come back and come and double check the, the problem again. So I don't do that again. I just go ahead because I know that is correct for me. I'll not come and cross check again. But uh, calculations where I don't have to use calculator or I can use calculator to get the answer straight. Once I'm done, I come back to go through to make sure I've not made any mistake along the process. But expressions like these, you can easily get them using your calculator. So once you do it, you don't need to come back and come and cross check. Once your answer is equal to what the calculator gave you, and you are sure you input the information really right at the first time, you are good to go. So thank you so much for watching this uh, YAC Federal Mathematics past question. And I will be seeing you in the next video where we'll be talking about more past questions along the line. So thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.